Hey Cancer, happy birthday. Uh, we're going to connect here and see what is going on in July for Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you are sick and tired of love readings, uh, you came to the wrong channel, you just clicked on the wrong video. Uh, every month I do a love reading for each of the zodiac signs and this is the love reading here. Every week I do general forecast readings for all the signs for everything else, everything other than love. But once a month is a love reading and that's what this is right here. So this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. You know, a lot of people like to check out their Venus sign when it comes to love. Uh, cancer, I'm getting a flashing number seven. The number seven is flashing, like a neon sign. Um, and so I feel like Spirit is trying to tell you that it's going to be really, really, really important for you uh, in the month of July to listen to your intuition. Uh, Spirit is also showing me the high priestess card in my like mind's eye and so this is telling me a lot of you might be in a situation where you're having a really significant spiritual awakening it could be that there's somebody who's awakening or activating this and for some of you this person might be feeding off of your energy a little bit but we're gonna check and see that this is a general reading that could be just maybe for some of the cancers out there we're going to look at the cards so the first card that we have coming up here is the page of swords some of you could be dealing with a younger or a youthful air sign person and so the air signs are going to be libra gemini or aquarius and um this could be this this could be coming up for some of you in terms of uh, this person's personality. Uh, Page of Swords is going to be a very inquisitive person. Uh, some of you, though, need to be cautious and need to be careful because Page of Swords is also a card about gathering information. So some of you need to do a little bit more homework uh, about a person or if you're wanting, I feel like some of you might be in a long-term relationship already and you're wanting to confront someone or you're wanting to uh, approach them uh, with, with a situation that you're wanting to be dealt with. But Page of Swords can indicate that we need to do our homework. We need to do a little bit more research. We need to gather a little bit more information. It can also indicate that someone else is gathering information. So those of you that are like, listen, listen, listen to your intuition, listen to your intuition, high priestess, some of you are dealing with someone who's completely and totally, and this is for those of you who are single or like newly getting to know somebody, some of you are going to be dealing with a person who's completely and totally like just mesmerized by you. Like it, it, it's feeling like love at first sight for them. Uh, they're feeling really taken by you. And this is why spirit showed me the high priestess. Okay, I'm going to tie in the page of swords here in just a second. For me in my readings, when high priestess comes up, uh, you have beautiful, powerful healing energy flowing through you. You've done a lot of healing. You're really connected with higher self. You're in a really good place spiritually. And so you have this delicious, powerful energy moving through you. And this makes you very irresistible uh, to anyone who is feeling a void or loneliness or emptiness. And they might be rushing at you like a moth in a dark room rushing towards a candle flame. Okay? And so uh, Page of Swords is telling me for some of you, this person is gathering a lot of information about you. They're finding out everything that they want to find out about you, everything that they uh, want to know because they want to impress you. They want to win you over. This can feel super, super flattering. Um, it's different than the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is somebody gathering information because they intentionally want to take advantage, like somebody who's being an opportunist. I don't feel like this person is an opportunist. I don't feel like they're trying to take advantage of you, but I feel like they're trying to present themselves in any way that they can to get you to like them. And then I feel like this could be somebody who might be a little bit codependent or a little bit like uh, just really, really like um, needing a lot of your time, needing a lot of your attention. This can be stressful for some of you. So just be aware. Don't get too swept up. 
Give it time. You do your homework on that person. You pay attention. You listen to your intuition. Because this person is going to know really, really how to impress you. Um, I also feel those of you cancers, some of you are really rising up in your career right now. And so there might be somebody coming in uh, who is like a, a client or, or a colleague where there's an intense amount of uh, attraction. But I feel like spirit is saying be cautious, use caution. Um, it might not be the best idea to get involved with this person right now because, again, they may be gathering information about you and that might be something that they're going to use to their advantage in the future if things go sideways, if things don't work out. Uh, so be very cautious what, what, what you're sharing. Okay, don't just automatically assume that everybody's going to be fair and uh, play nice. Be very cautious if you're getting involved with somebody who is a client or, um, or somebody that you might have as a colleague. You know, you may kind of not want to give them uh, <laughs> like racy pictures or text messages or things like that or tell them super personal things about your life, even if you feel a strong connection right out the gate so to speak your next card here is the queen of cups and this is your beautiful powerful cancer energy yes right queen of cups is water sign and this is going to be intuitive healing creative energy okay so queen of cups traditionally in tarot is seen as uh like wife energy mother energy so some of you may be manifesting uh, you know, this uh, relationship that's going to that next level, that's going in that direction of commitment. If you are already married and, um, uh, you know, if, if, if you're a parent, you might be kind of like recommitting in your heart to that, to that role, right? We do a lot of things on autopilot, but there could be something happening in July where you're finding your love for it again. You're finding your love for it again. You're finding your uh, connection to it again. It's like the, the feelings are rekindling. Uh, and some of you may be manifesting, you know, stepping into role as wife or mother or manifesting meeting the person who's going to be the wife and the mother of your child. Overall, though, Queen of Cups is very, very intuitive. And so I do feel very strongly, as I said in the beginning, I felt some of you were having a really powerful spiritual awakening right now. And some of you are in a situation where you're being activated. Some of you already can sense or feel that you need to kind of slow things down with this person. Some of you are wanting to cut things out altogether. And so Queen of Cups is saying that you have to make time for emotional self-care so that your love life doesn't get too overwhelming or too confusing or too chaotic. Um, it's going to help you make the right decisions. I feel like a lot of you are finding yourself at a really significant crossroads in terms of love life in July. And I'm not talking about should I get to know this person or not. I'm talking about like things being cemented, things being... Uh, highly committed right and even some of you maybe for a long time you've really been trying to manifest that and now all of a sudden it's coming in and you're like wait a minute wait a minute I didn't know it was going to happen now uh, I, I, I don't know if I'm ready do I really want it uh, oh my gosh I care about this person so much I'm falling for this person so much it's bringing out all of my fears and insecurities all of that kind of energy you need to make time for emotional self-care especially those of you where your intuition is being triggered, okay? And uh, when I say this, it's not only like your intuition is being triggered so that you know what the other person is thinking or what the other person is feeling. I'm talking about full-on spiritual connection. I'm talking about you being connected with higher self. I'm talking about you being very in tune with the energies around you. It's not intuition that is only focused and zeroed in on this love interest you're going to need to really really work on your uh emotional self-care doing things that allow you to release emotion express emotion uh things that inspire you okay your next card here my dears is the world card and this is a major arcana card 
when the major arcana cards come up we're coming into a significant new chapter in our life and for me in my love readings when major arcana cards come up between two people it tells me there's a strong past life connection and that there's a situation here that you all agreed to meet in this lifetime for a specific reason okay so um depending on where you are in your journey this is going to look different for different ones of you okay this could be closing out a karmic cycle entirely where you're taking your power back from somebody you're healing you're not going to go another round with them no more on again off again craziness uh you know being able to just kind of walk away uh feeling a sense of closure for other ones of you and i feel this is more so for those of you who've been with your person for a while and you may have kind of been uh you know indecisive for a while am i going to stay in this relationship am i going to go and this feels to me like the kind of relationship where like there's the children i'm even going to say older children like late teens young adults and you've been like should i leave should i leave some of you are deciding to stay but to focus on yourself and to take this time to do the things like we talked about in the queen of cups but you're looking at this like okay there's things about the relationship I'm not happy about, but I'm looking at like what is triggering me and how I'm going to focus on uh finding my fulfillment and really healing here and having my sense of like stepping out into the light, letting myself be seen, breaking out of insecurities, right? I feel like there's this sense of confidence and I feel for some of you that have been with this person for a while You're going to be surprised how supportive they are of this. Like they're going to be supportive of you picking up these things that are uh soothing to you, that are uh, you know, uh, a part of your emotional self-care. They're going to be happy to see you stepping out into the light and getting attention and like doing things that you want to do. So I feel a revival of love. Okay? And so it's like being able to leave the past behind. being able to leave behind the old lessons and coming into an energy of feeling comfortable and confident in your own skin. Okay, some of you are having that ace of cups moment I talked about where you're completely done with the karmic cycles and you're coming into like you're manifesting, you're ready to be seen, you're ready to be appreciated, you're ready to be in an actual relationship that people know about you know like some of you are like i want to have that relationship status on my uh social media accounts i want it to say you know uh you know uh boyfriend girlfriend wife husband you know whatever like uh you're 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 manifesting this kind of relationship of okay we're going out into the world together right we're being seen as a couple and that's something that some of you are manifesting your next card here my darlings is the 9 of cups and 9 of cups is wishes coming true okay and it's contentment it's contentment it's happiness it's all that you wanted is happening and coming your way Um I really want to emphasize this for some of you who are in the longer term relationship. This is confirming what I felt around the world card about how I felt that uh um like some of you are like okay, maybe like there's things that I'm not really happy or fulfilled, but I'm going to focus on that emotional self-care and I'm going to start finding fulfillment in these other ways. Some of you have 9 cups, right? and and it might not be worth, you know, walking away from a very invested relationship, you know, looking for that one cup. That one cup is inside of you for 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 many of you. Now, this doesn't apply if you're in a situation where someone is being abusive. By all means, if somebody is being abusive, get the heck out of there. You know, don't stay in that kind of situation. But those of you where things have been feeling lackluster, those of you in a newer relationship or those of you single uh your wish is coming true and you're manifesting uh the type of relationship that you have wanted for yourself and you know moving to that next level for many of you 
Now your next card here, my darlings, is the Emperor. Another major arcana card. Now, I know the Emperor gets a uh, reputation in love cards as being a divine masculine. Okay? I really need to emphasize something. Especially those of you who are reading this as, Oh my gosh, I'm with my divine masculine. Or I'm manifesting my divine masculine. A divine masculine is a personality type, okay? It's, it, it, it's a, a, I don't know if I want to say category, but a caliber, a caliber of a person. And so it's not about, you know, uh, like this one magical person and that's the only person that you can be with. Uh, and that's what you're going to have to keep in mind. Because I do feel some of you are getting a little bit nervous or worried. Like, I really like this person. This person's checking off a lot of my boxes. We get each other. We understand each other. But is this my person or is there somebody else I'm supposed to wait for? We have more than one soulmate. And we have a lot of free will. And some people don't like me saying that. But I really need to emphasize that and I really need that to be said. Okay? So, when I say you're manifesting this person, you're manifesting a type of person. You don't have to get too stressed out or too overwhelmed that, oh, but wait a minute, is this the one magical person? Okay? It's not about one magical person. It's about a type of relationship, a type of person. Now, the emperor can be a very confident energy, a very strong masculine energy. And some of you uh, may be manifesting someone who is maybe a little bit alpha or very decisive, somebody who's able to make up their mind. Um, but there's one thing you need to keep in mind with the emperor, especially since it's coming here next to the nine of cups, okay? Uh, we talk about Nine of Cups as wish fulfillment, but if we think of it in terms of cups, Nine Cups is great, but it's not Ten of Cups. So some of you are dealing with a situation where a relationship is moving forward, but you might feel that the person you're dealing with might just be a little bit distant. That happens sometimes with the Emperor. Uh, this could be a fascinating person. You may really enjoy their company, their companionship. There may be a lot of passion. Uh, but you might feel like, gosh, you know, this person just has a little bit of a wall up. And, uh, you know, I don't know if I'm ever going to fully get like over that wall into like the deep, 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 deep layers of this person. Uh I would say those of you that are experiencing this, you're going to have to make up your mind if you're good with those nine cups. Or if you're like, nope, you know what? I'm not going to find fulfillment uh, within myself. I'm not going to find fulfillment in that queen of cups kind of way with that one cup. I'm going to walk away from these nine cups and look for someone who has all ten cups. I can't tell you what to do, but some of you are finding yourself in that situation because... The thing about the emperor energy, a lot of the times when it comes up in terms of a personality type, like I said, this is someone who can be very um, interesting, uh, very passionate. There can definitely be feelings here, but you might feel like there's just a little bit slightly, maybe a little bit of an aloofness or a little bit of a wall. This is the way this person is wired. That's never going to change. It's never going to change. This isn't something that this person can change about themselves. It's not like they haven't trusted you enough. And once you jump through enough hoops or once you prove your, your love enough, they're going to lower that wall and they're going to let you in. That's not going to happen because they don't have the ability to do that. So some of you are having to make that decision. Can I find that one missing cup of fulfillment? Can I focus on getting that myself in this relationship? Or am I going to walk away and am I going to completely and totally just like try to find somebody who has all of the, the cups, right? It's a big decision to make and I can't tell you what to do. I can't tell you what to decide. Um, I do feel that um, a lot of you are dealing with a very high caliber person though. You know what I mean? Like, 
what like somebody who's a really good catch okay but you need to listen to your intuition here and you need to listen to um you need to listen to your higher self so i would say it's going to be a good time for you to incorporate spiritual practice like i talked about that self-care like i talked about you know maybe like sea salt baths or aromatherapy baths with essential oil might be helpful for a lot of you prayer meditation uh getting lost in your music um you know doing creative things is going to kind of help you to make the natural decision for yourself you're going to have to feel your way through this decision okay um is the best way that i can put it here but it is a big decision to make uh some of you are manifesting this kind of like marriage relationship uh but uh you're feeling a little bit uh taken aback by the realization like this is a powerful person and so some of you might feel like you know am i giving away my power so again emotional self-care is going to be really important so that you're able to express this you're able to uh find the right words you're able to communicate with this person and uh you know move things along in a way that you're comfortable with because i feel a lot of you are manifesting someone who's a very strong confident energy okay some of you have somebody else coming in in the beginning who's seeing you like the high priestess and spirit is saying high priestess you need somebody who's more like the emperor and some of you are already past that and you're manifesting the emperor and you're like man what do i do like what what do i do like it's actually here what do i do right it could be the fear getting the best of you okay but like i said being in that self care uh being in that spiritual connection being in the things that soothe you and inspire you emotionally you're going to find the answer you're going to find the answer within yourself you may want to check out your moon sign or rising sign or venus sign if this is your sun sign uh sometimes that can add a little more information or be a little, little bit more helpful uh you might want a private reading which I'm more than happy to do for you if you go to calendly dot com slash amethyst angelite you can schedule a private reading with me there and um don't forget to check out the weekly forecasts as well my dear where we talk about everything other than love relationships thanks for watching my dears bye